speed for free. That's the way cyclists think about aerodynamics. And using the wind tunnel at Boardman Bikes, set to a Tour de France racing speed of about 50 km an hour, we're going to show how small improvements to bikes, helmets and even socks add up to race winning margins. This is our baseline, a bike familiar to any cyclist. In this position, our rider would complete a flat 40 km time trial in about 50 minutes. But in real life, holding that kind of pace on a bike like this would be impossible. So let's make some changes. Here's the same cyclist in the same clothes, pedaling at the same cadence. But we've made one important change. He's now on a proper racing bike. Over the course of that 40 km time trial, we've just saved him three minutes and 18 seconds. Let's give our rider a cycling jersey and some bib shorts. These are basic changes, but the wind tunnel shows that he'll reach the finish line three minutes and 15 seconds faster. Now let's give him an aero helmet, the kind worn by Tour de France sprinters on a flat stage. That change alone saves him another 19 seconds. Now he's on the drops, reducing his frontal area and saving himself another one minute and 26 seconds. Now we're getting serious. The rider has changed into a tight-fitting road skin suit. He may not look very different, but he'll finish that 40 km course another 26 seconds faster. Now we've got our rider in a full time trial setup. He's got a super aero bike, top of the range skin suit, and a riding position designed to slice through the air. Even compared to the super fast road racing position we just saw, our rider is now almost three minutes faster over 40 km. Think aero socks are just a gimmick? This pair alone save our rider another 16 seconds, easily enough to win a Tour de France time trial. Overall, the total improvement from that setup we started with is almost 12 minutes over 40 kilometers. In a sport where every second counts, this is why it pays to pull your socks up. <laughs>